Hi guys and welcome to another unedited unboxing. So this one has just arrived on my doorstep. This has come through, has to come from, unfortunately had to come through UK Customs. You can see it just there. So this one, uh, which should be a Labini inside, has cost me an extra £37 because of UK Customs. You can see it was shipped from the Netherlands uh, and it's been valued at $203, which means it was stopped by Customs and they've added their fair share onto it. So this watch has now cost me £37 more than it should have done. Um, for those of you the first time here, thanks for coming and joining us. Um, I do these, un these, these unboxings in one take, unedited, um, so just to show you exactly how the watch would arrive to you. Um, so this is, yeah, as I say, a Labini. It seems well packaged. There's a bit of bubble wrap in there. Um, it's taken a little while, taken about two and a half weeks to get to the UK. Um, was bought during the AliExpress sale at the start, so it's taken a little while. But let's get on with it, have a look inside, see what we've got. So this is the um, Labini 1888 which is the one that I've, uh, I, should, I should have in here. So let's get this wrapper off and have a quick look. So, cardboard box. That's one side. A little bit knocked about, but uh, is what it is. Just get this opened up quickly side. So in here we have, let's have a quick look, let's get this out of the way. Okay so we've got some bits and pieces. We have a Labini user manual, slightly damaged in the corner but is what it is. We have a warranty card, not signed or dated, but over to one side. We have a bag, in case you want to sell it on, I guess. Sleeve, and then a well, nice-ish box. Different to the usual stuff you would get from AliExpress, but then it is slightly more expensive. So let's have a quick look. <coughs> and here we have the watch in question. So in the box we have a gap for something that shouldn't be there, that should be there or shouldn't be there. We have a watch cushion. Move that, let's just move that to one side, get that out of the way as well. So um, let's get it on the way. On the scales we have 71 grams. So let's have a quick look at this one. Let's get zoomed in a little bit. So there you have the Levini into the Arken. First impressions. Nice size, nice looking thing. The strap is rubbish. Uh, so that's going to have to be changed in short order. Um, but the actual watch itself doesn't have that. The strap is awful. You hear that? Squeaky leather. Mm, lovely. Uh, but let's have a quick get some of this packaging off. If we can, now this one is all about the. Looks like there's some more on the back there. Come on. There it is. This one's all about this. This dial, bit of plastic, this dial, and this movement, which to be fair is very pretty. Micro rotor movement. Let's get it. Just a pull, what time is it? It is. I have no idea. I'll check the other watch I've got, which is that one. 10 to 12. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I think today is the 19th. Nice action, actually. 
Oh yeah, give it a wind. And we are away. First impression is not bad of the watch. The strap is terrible. But thankfully, it's a quick release. So we'll get that get that changed out. It's a horrible, shiny leather, plasticky leather. But uh, yep, so there you have it. So we'll um, wear this one for a little while and then uh, look out for a future full review of this particular watch. Thanks very much for watching. Please, if you haven't already, um, like and subscribe. And you'll find a, uh, an affiliate link for this one in the description below. Again, thanks very much. Thank you.